Okay guys, um, this is going to be the third part to how to speedrun the Wind Waker. Um, so, I left off at the cutscene where you entered Forsaken Fortress 1. Um, at the end of the cutscene you get, you're gonna get this text, and whatever your file name is, um, he's just, the coral, which is the boat, um, is going to be speaking to you, and he says your, your file name, your file name, wake up, your file name. So, um, basically this is the first introducing you have to Coral, or King of the Red Lions. He's the boat that you travel with throughout the entire run, or throughout the entire uh, boring parts. <laughs> but, um, so basically you wake up in the boat, and he introduces himself, and then he kind of tells you about your sister, and what you need to do, or you need to continue on, or, and follow the boat's advice to be able to... Um, wield the power to repel evil, which is the Master Sword. So he's basically um, giving you a plot line of what you need to do in the game, but without you knowing. And I, I also guess this is the second introducing to Ganon that you get in this game. The first introducing is to the cutscene just before this one. Um, the bird holds you up in front of Ganon. Um, I would have shown it, but um, I'm going to try to cut out the cutscenes. They're pretty boring. And you'll, you'll get plenty of uh, experience with those cutscenes. So basically, again, uh, the timing for this text doesn't really matter, uh, but it's a speedrun, so you, obviously you want to go through it as fast as possible. None of the text really matters in this game. It's all boring. Except, I guess, like, after the final fight, that text is kind of interesting. He tells you about, like, uh, the new world, which kind of leads into the next Zelda, which is kind of cool, but, yeah. I personally think they should have made like a second Wind Waker instead of uh, <laughs> that um what was that game called uh, Phantom Hourglass I think it is but I think they should have made like a Wind Waker 2 that would have been awesome okay so for here you're gonna want to just roll around this corner and then roll into the cutscene Be careful with that pig, you can do you can actually pick him up and it causes you not to be able to activate this cutscene as soon as you can. Um, so for this, I have 75 rupees, so um, I only need if you have 70 rupees or above, um, you don't need to get these these flowers. Um, you can you can get them if you want, but it's preference really. Um, so basically you're gonna just roll around these. Um, there's also this pot right here that has 5 rupees in it, and you can get this if you're at 70 rupees. But since I have 75, I'm just going to continue rolling up here. And break this pot, and get the rupees inside of it. So we're going to talk to this guy, and he, this is the guy that sells the sale uh, for 80 rupees. So that's the whole point of collecting rupees along the way. And now that we have the sale, we can travel. Unfortunately, we can only travel to Dragon Roost, so, uh, yeah. So we're gonna go, uh, and just roll off this edge, and then, you, it doesn't matter when you equip the sail, but, um, you should equip the sail before you reach the cutscene with the boat, so that's kind of important. So, yeah. And then hold forward here, because you can do, like, a little quick roll, and then just talk to the, the boat, and just say you've already understood it all, and then continue along with this text. Okay, so for this part, um, I'm going to take my time for a second because um, I do see a lot of people who are trying to speedrun this game or who are just starting out to learn this game. Um, this next trick is called Sail Pumping. Um, it saves like 5 seconds or something like that per quadrant. So uh, you can see that there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There's 7 quadrants, okay? Um, so if you do 7 times 5, that's 35 seconds, but it saves probably over a minute uh, throughout the entire run because you do sail pump, uh, I would say more than 7 quadrants, 
you probably sail like nine or ten, probably. So it maybe save it maybe saves like a minute, uh, maybe a little more. I'm not exactly sure how many quadrants we do sail, but um, it is important here. Let me just get in the boat and try to demonstrate it. So pull out the sail here, and a big no-no is for when I see people trying to speed run this game, they do this or they do this. Because, or they go like, uh, that, or whatever. Um, I want to try to explain how to sail pump. Sail pumping is... Sail pumping is a rhythm. You need a good, precise... Maybe not precise, but you need a good rhythm. You need to know what you're doing, basically. Um, you're going to want to press the button take your time press the button again don't immediately press it like don't spam a and y or a and x don't spam a and z don't spam those buttons just take your time with it just press it every try to press it like like this uh like i don't know it's hard to explain like boom 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 like that kind of just have your own rhythm i guess but don't don't try to increase the speed of sail pumping just let it come naturally just a x a x it's kind of important to stress because i do see a lot of people trying to sail pump and they can't do it properly so it should look like that like you should be putting the sail pump away or the sail away and uh if you look closely um at coral you, you're he's getting a little boost every time you pull out the sail which is the whole point of it uh i don't yeah i don't need this so, again, um, just look at the the front of Coral, and that's how you know you're doing it properly. Like, he's getting a, a quick little jolt of speed every time you pull it out. So, that's what you're kind of looking for. It's kind of important, and I just missed the red root being nice. <laughs> but it's kind of important uh, to know how to sail pump properly and not sail right into a tower. <laughs> Since this is no tuner, I'm going to I'm gonna try to avoid doing like tuner things. Uh, you don't need to get the, these rupees. That's a tuner route thing or part of the tuner route. So yeah, you don't need to get those these rupees at all. Just you can just sail pump normally to dragon roost. Okay, so this is quick text. You can just A and B and mash it. Most of these next text boxes after this cutscene are quick text, so you can just A and B them. So just press A and B, try to save frames, I guess. One box. One box. One box. And then last, this last one. And then now he actually has text. And this is the most broken item in the game, in my opinion. Uh, I don't think there's any other item in this game that competes with the Wind Waker. The Wind Waker completely destroys this game and all of its glory. Um, so for this, um, you're going to want to just hold the control stick. The control stick is what uh, does the, like the, I don't know, the three fourths and four fourths and whatnot. So basically hold up on the control stick. Uh, down and then right. And then this is four fourths. So you're good for this you're gonna want to hold left on the control stick. So control stick left and then follow the thing on the screen with the little C stick. So up, right, left, down. And then that that was basically the Wind Waker trial. <laughs> it's kinda weird, but yeah. And then after this text box, you get the Wind Waker. Alright. Alright, so now we have the Wind Waker. Uh, we're going to want to equip it to whatever button you prefer, Y, Z, or X. Uh, I prefer my Wind Waker on Y and my sail on X. Uh, it's, it's your own preference. It, it doesn't make... It doesn't make you a better runner unless you practice with it and you get better with it. So, um, 
if you watched my win uh, storage tutorial, uh, there's two ways that you can mainly uh, pull out the Wind Waker. You can just go off of a ledge or just jump off or like roll, slide or roll fall, I guess, off of a ledge, which is what I normally do. I just come up to this rock and just roll and Wind Waker. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get storage, and uh, if you ha if you don't know how to get storage very well, you can go watch my storage tutorial. Uh, it's pretty helpful, so uh, we're gonna go ahead and do that. So now that we got storage, we're gonna come over to Coral. We're gonna talk to Coral just once, and then we're gonna roll this way. And since it's English, we can uh, and it takes longer to scroll. Just activate the Wind Waker now to pull out his text, and then B, and then just roll into the water, and then come over to this place. <clears throat> And then uh, press A, but make sure you leave this text on the screen. It's kind of important to do this trick. This trick is called Zephos, Zephos Skip. Excuse me. Um, it saves like a minute or something like that on English, or a little more on English. So it's kind of important. You want to get this well. Um, so in the top right corner of the screen, you can see Link's HUD with the YZ and XBA crouch kind of thing. Um, so you're going to want to walk forward until... Uh, the A button lights up and says check. Um, make sure it doesn't it doesn't say check and Link is looking at this statue over here. You're gonna want to look only look at this statue. Uh, the reason for that is because it can mess up the trick. So make sure his head is completely like lined up with this stone. So uh, now we're gonna do the trick. Um, we're gonna check it and and we're gonna cancel this text box at the exact same time. So we're just gonna press A once. And now you can see Link is invisible. So now what you can do is you can hold L and you can sidewalk uh, to the left and stand in front of this stone right here and then press Y. What Y does is if you check it, it kind of ruins it. So um, I shouldn't have said Y. I should just say just pull out the Wind Waker button or press the Wind Waker button and then you'll hear the little tone to where you can learn a song, which is that sound. So on the stone, it gives you up, left, right. So we're going to do that on the little the C stick right now. All right, so now that was Zepho Skip, and it kind of makes the stone go invisible, but it's still here. Like, there's collision here. So, um, yeah, that was Zepho Skip. It saves like a minute or something like that on English. So um, that's kind of important to learn. Uh, try to practice that a little bit. So when you get to Dragon Roost, I would save warp here uh, and try to practice that a couple of times. So come back through this tunnel here. All right, so get the Wind Waker out again and we're gonna get storage again, so. All right. Now, now that we have storage, we're gonna we're going to perform our first super swing. All right, let me get into this. <laughs> okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna super swim, but we're going to do this quadrant, which is one, two, three quadrants down from where we're heading. Um, you can do this. Uh, well, okay, basically where we're heading is we're heading exactly to the very very center of this quadrant here, which is three quadrants down from Dragon Juice. One, two, three. We're going to the very center of it, and at the very center of it, there's a submarine. You want to enter the submarine, and then um, there's three Bacalans inside, and you want to kill them. That activates a, a chest, which has the bottle in it, which on English saves about 40 seconds. So it's a big, easy time save to just do a super swim too. So activate the Wind Waker, and then just super swim. Charge your super swim, I should say. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to go, uh, we're going to try to avoid, since it's English, we're going to try to avoid the sploosh at Fire Mountain. So if you angle slightly to the right like I am now, uh, instead of just straight down into this quadrant, you can avoid the sploosh, but, um, or you can angle slightly to the left of it because we're still going here, so you got to try to remember that. So I'm going to go this way and avoid the sploosh, or try my best to avoid the sploosh, and then we're just going to come over here, 
and then super swim to this island here, which is... Alright, now we're at the island where we need to be. Or we're at the quadrant where we need to be. But remember, it's directly in the middle of the quadrant, which on the minimap is pretty close to me. So we're going to do this, and we're going to come over here. Uh, if you look closely at the screen... Hold on, let me just go up. Okay. Um, you can see the, su the submarine right there in over Link's left shoulder, or right shoulder, I should say. Um, so that's where we're heading. So you're going to jump in the water again, and then just super swim there. It doesn't take a lot of speed, remember, so you can just barely charge. Alright, and we're going to get there. Uh, slowly. <laughs> Alright, so it's in the middle of the quadrant, remember, so I'm headed towards the middle, so that's where we're running. That's going to where we're going to want to go. So now look at the quadrant. Oh. Now we're right in the middle of the quadrant, which is exactly where we need to be. So we're going to go in the submarine and kill the goblins. Alright. One, two, three. Quick spin. That's all it takes for the black goblins. The green goblins are five. Kill the rats too. No, I'm just kidding. The rats don't really matter. But yeah, the... This is the first item that you get, like, outside of, like, tutorials and stuff. It's the bottle. Um, you don't need these rupees, it's just, I'm just taking my time. Uh, so just open this chest, and that's the bottle. Okay, so now we're gonna do another save warp, but what I like to do, instead of just pressing R or L, is I like to equip the bottle immediately, uh, and then save. Since we, since I equip the bottle right away, um, it's faster to go to just go directly down from the equipping the bottle than just going hitting R and L. It's it's slightly faster, but it's still it is faster. So we're gonna go Z or whatever button you don't have Wind Waker or Sail on, and then uh, and then we're just gonna go down A A and then hold X B and A, and that's the other save board or the next save board. So load up the file, and the wind is normally, or it is going to be pretty good, and you can still sail to Bomb Island, which is what this squadron island is. So super sw or <laughs> sail to this island. Oh, and you can get water here, which is kind of important. We, ne we need to do that for later. All right. All right. So, uh, I ne the only easy place <clears throat> on this island to get storage, well, there's a couple easy places, but... Um, this is where we're going to want to get storage. So there's this tree here. <clears throat> so anywhere you can Wind Waker dive from within this tree. So let's say from here to here. That's where you can Wind Waker dive. Because it's in front of Link's camera. <clears throat> Excuse me, one second. Okay, um, I kind of also forgot to mention, uh, you're going to want to go fast. So get storage as fast as you can. And then, um, actually it doesn't really matter, never mind. Alright. <clears throat> so, we're going to come over to this island, or the edge of this island, and then just jump in the water. Alright, so charge is super swim, and we're heading here. So, instead of three quadrants, one, two, three, we're going two over. So this is where we're heading. And it's in the middle of the quadrant too, so you can just keep that in mind. The, the, these two super swims are pretty easy. They're just directly in the middle of the uh, quadrant. So uh, make sure the back of the triangle... Uh, I, did, I did explain this in my super swimming tutorial. Make sure the back of the triangle is where you're heading or you're facing. Uh, or right before you release, that's where you're going to want to aim. So we can just charge up the super swim and then get ready to release when we have enough speed. Directly to the middle of this quadrant. This one. Oh, Beetle. You. You just literally spawned. That was crazy. Okay. So, yeah. Again, we're going to the middle of this quadrant that I'm at right now. So. Beetle, you are a troll. Stop it. Oh my gosh. 
Okay. It's in the middle of the quadrant. <laughs> Again. Alright. So now that we're here, um, there's kind of an annoying super swim that we have to do now. Part of the route. Um, it's going to be uh, Great Fish. And yes, Great Fish is one of the most well-known uh, super swims in this game. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to save warp. Or, you don't necessarily need to save warp, but um, save warping gets rid of the storm, which makes... Uh, excuse me. It makes looking for Great Fish a lot easier. So remember, save warp, hold the X, Z, X, B, and uh, start. So when we're here, we're going to want to get storage. So get storage. These sea hats can be quite annoying. They, you can target them, but make sure, just try to make sure that you don't. And then just hold, and we're going to charge the super swim, but we're going to aim like in between the, the two triangles of the, this like quadrant. We're going to just try to aim in between both of them. If I can get away from solutioning on this island. Alright. So this is a pretty decent angle for a great fish, so I'm gonna try to release it and try to get it at first try, but if you don't, it's okay, you can just keep going. Oh, and if you sploosh too early, make sure that you just reset instantly. It's like the fastest way to do it. So just load up the file again and then just keep going. Alright, water nice. English is kind of dumb for its loading zones, or its loading times, I should say. So we're gonna just—I'm gonna try this one more time. Um, so I don't make this tutorial too long. So that was great fish. Uh, it's kind of a stupid super swim because there's a loading right. zone or there's a cutscene inside of a cutscene. So that was the first cutscene, and this is the next cutscene. So if you try to double storage super swim into this cutscene, it kind of just it's still soft locks. So it's all about getting onto the island and canceling camera lock. Oh, um, I'm gonna leave off this episode here at Great Fish and then pick it up at the end of. Uh, the Great Fish cutscene. So, yeah, thank you for watching, guys. I appreciate it.